Well, one of the things that I'm often asked is, gee, Dr. Harness, how do we diagnose breast cancer? And let me walk you through the steps of that process. Well, typically what happens is one of two things. A person presents with a lump in the breast that they go and see the primary care doctor for, or hopefully they're having screening mammograms done on a regular basis, and unfortunately something may be noted on the screening mammograms. So we then have a couple different ways of working lumps up in the breast, or suspicious, as we call them, suspicious areas in the breast. The most important thing is to do a physical examination. Does the thing feel like it could potentially be cancer? Is there any enlargement of the lymph nodes within the area? Next most important step is indeed getting mammograms. And I do realize that you ladies don't like having mammograms because of all the squeezing of the breast. I fully understand that, but it's a really important diagnostic test for us. And then particularly in women who have really dense breasts, an ultrasound examination is really important as well. Generally, after those three steps, physical examination, mammogram, and ultrasound, will then lead to the next step, which is typically a needle biopsy of the lesion. If then a diagnosis of cancer is made, many of us in my world then do a breast MRI examination to further help clarify the extent of the disease in the affected breast may also help us find out if there's disease in the other breast and may also tell us if there's some enlargement of the lymph nodes. So it's a multi-step process. Obviously, people are scared to death as soon as they know that they have a lump. One of the important things to remember here is that time is our friend. We want to work things up in an orderly way. So again, we only make our diagnosis once we then take the next appropriate steps, and if we need to go to the operating room, we only want to go once. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.